back, we back, we back, we back. Thank you for tuning in to the channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about seven fragrances that literally I had women pull me over for. Right. Now there is a difference when someone says, oh, you smell nice. Oh, you smell good. That's completely different than come here. What is that? What are you wearing? Let me smell it. Now, <laughs> that's what we're talking about today, okay? These seven fragrances have that factor in it. And I know why. They're all very, very unique. Uh, I, I know why did they all have this in common as I was putting this list together. I was like, man, like, what is it about them? But individually, if you have smelt them or if you haven't or if you uh, uh, get the opportunity to, you'll understand why uh, these fragrances do have that sort of come hither uh, factor in them. Let's get into it. All right, and we kicking this one off with the only niche on this list, Parfums de Marly Pegasus. Okay, on the note breakdown here, we got some heliotrope, cumin, bergamot, almond, lavender, jasmine, vanilla, sandalwood, and amber. All right, Pegasus. This starts off with a metallic note, okay? Uh, initially, it was a little off-putting. I don't think I've ever smelled anything that actually had metal in it um, as a note that I knew of. Uh, I didn't even know what I was smelling initially until I read the note breakdown, and then it made a little bit more sense. But that quickly goes away, and then it dries down into this uh, amazing, uh, creamy, um, woody uh, almond fragrance that is unlike anything I've ever smelled before. Uh, this is 100% an upscale fragrance to me, okay? You need to be dressed up, right? This is something potentially formal or first date uh, worthy, right? However, this is not a blind buy worthy fragrance. Uh, two reasons. One, it's niche. There's a price tag associated with it. And two, I don't necessarily feel that it's polarizing, but I feel like for some people, it could go either way. Okay, so this actually has great projection, okay, for about two to three hours, and the longevity is another five to six, okay? I do feel like this is more of a cooler weather uh, fragrance, so I would definitely recommend this more for uh, fall or winter, um, or even a cooler night. I mean, it's been up and down where I'm at right here in the south. Uh, I actually could have wore this last night if I wanted to. I think it was in the low 60s, so uh, this fragrance right here can be worn, um, you know, in the spring, but I wouldn't recommend this for the high heat. Now, what I am going to tell you, though, the compliments from the women that I've actually been around wearing this fragrance, it's almost been, you know, animalistic, okay? Uh, <laughs> if they actually like this, okay, they're going to love it, okay? This fragrance is literally one where it wasn't a, oh, you smell nice. Oh, you smell good. It was literally, come here, let me smell that on you, okay? That type of fragrance. If you haven't smelled this yet, get your nose on Parfums de Marly Pegasus, okay? But make sure you sample it out first. Man, y'all see the bottle? You already know what time it is. <laughs> Armani Code Absolute. Okay, mandarin, nutmeg, carrot seeds, tonka bean, suede, and vanilla. Tonka bean, suede, vanilla, bomb. Let's just say that. Um, when I first got this fragrance, I didn't love it. I liked it, but I didn't love it. This is a fragrance I go to when I'm specifically looking to get compliments. And that does happen, right, from time to time. You're going to get them with this fragrance, okay? Um, specifically for the cooler weather, okay? So you're talking, you know, fall, winter, uh, maybe, you know, lower temperatures in the spring. I wouldn't rock this in the high heat, but this fragrance right here combined with everything else you got going on, right? If you're on top of your game, you layer a little bit of this Armani Code Absolute should take you where you want to go. Projection on this one is really good too, right? So you're going to have a scent bubble around you 
for maybe about four or five hours. And it's still lasting seven or eight as far as the longevity is concerned. So this is actually a powerhouse and you don't need to spray a lot of this. I feel like max with this is probably three sprays. I would maybe err on the side of two, okay? This is absolutely worth the price point, uh, which should be at or around $100. I cannot uh, pump this one up enough, and I hate to say the word pump, but this one is worth it. Our money code, absolute. Females respond. Oh yeah, rolling right into the next one. Spice Bomb Extreme. Let me get that right there for y'all. Okay, vanilla, tobacco, black pepper, caraway, and lavender. This is a lady killer. I mean, let's just be honest. The reputation of this fragrance precedes itself. Um, is it potentially hyped? It is, but it's for a good reason, okay? You got everything else together, and you step in a spot with this on appropriately, this is literally like a head turner, man. I don't know if I've ever met a female that doesn't like this fragrance. I'm sure she might exist in the world, but I'm saying I haven't encountered one yet that doesn't like it. All right, so this one is another monster, okay? So you need to be light on the trigger with this one. Two, max, three sprays, okay? This fragrance will project, like you will definitely have a bubble around you, and I'm saying like maybe like four or five hours. And this will be on your clothes the next day. So you don't have to worry about that. But what I do want you to worry about, what I want you to focus on when you wear this fragrance, it's closing the deal. Because that is where Spice Bomb Extreme is going to take you. All other boxes checked, right? Stars aligned. You did exactly what you were supposed to do. You layer this, be ready to close. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I got this one wrong. So I smelled this, bought it. I loved it. But to be honest with you, I thought it would just be something that I would be wearing because I like the smell of the fragrance. I did not think this one would get the reaction from women that this does. And I'm talking about Mason Margiela Jazz Club. Okay. Pink pepper, neroli, lemon, rum, clary sage, tobacco leaf, vanilla, and styrax. Okay. This is rich, smoky, boozy tobacco fragrance okay but it is masculine and it's mature with a mild seduction type of way I, I don't even really know how to describe it it's not there's some fragrances you know that are just super seductive this is like a, a mild seduction but I love it This fragrance represents sophistication, okay? And I really like that, all right? Uh, I feel like this fragrance is potentially able to be worn year-round as well. I would not say during the day in the summer, but on a cooler summer night, you could get away with this. But spring, fall, and winter, I feel like you could absolutely wear this fragrance. The only issue with the fragrance is that you don't get an insane amount of projection, okay? It's, it's hanging around for about an hour and a half, two hours, uh, and then after that, you get about another four or five hours, right? But while you have that scent bubble and that sillage, it is going to be amazing, okay? And the women will respond. Uh, I was, again, absolutely wrong. It was all in my mind uh, when I got this fragrance, just thinking that I will love it, but women wouldn't actually respond to it. Respond to it. They absolutely do. If you haven't smelled this yet, sample out Mason Margiela Jazz Club at around $100, okay, for the full presentation. I love everything about this fragrance. I love the presentation, uh, I love the atomizer, and most importantly, obviously, the fragrance. Uh, this is another one of those definition of a flanker to me, uh, although I feel like this could also be a line on its own because I feel like it doesn't really smell that close to the original, the one, and I'm talking about Dolce & Gabbana, the one, luminous night okay black pepper bergamot dates geranium incense sandalwood all right all about the incense here um i say that this could be you know a line of its own because i don't know if it's just because the dolce and gabbana the one is so faint even though i have the older parfum i can't even smell it through the atomizer i just feel like this doesn't even smell 
close to it, but I, it might just be because that incense is so heavy uh, in this one. Amazing fragrance. Love it first and if. Knew this would be a hit from the jump, uh, but this is one that is loud. So there are some fragrances that just kind of project a lot. This is one of them. So get ready for attention because it just commands that. Plus, it's unique. I feel like uh, I don't, even when I'm out, I feel like I don't smell a lot of, you know, of these uh, Middle Eastern style fragrances or colognes. I can pick up on certain colognes when I'm out moving around, but I feel like I don't really smell a lot of these. So it's also a unique fragrance and it's loud, but it's alluring, it's mysterious, and it is sexy, okay? Women respond to this fragrance. All right, so like I said, this one is loud, okay? So you can take it easy on the trigger with this one too. Two to three on this one, okay? This is going to be around for a easy three, four hours, okay? Maybe even five, and you'll smell this one on your clothes the next day. Uh, another one of these that I feel like <clears throat> could really be year round i was gonna hesitate but i i, I want to lean towards cooler weather you definitely shouldn't wear this in the high heat but i feel like on a cool spring night a cool summer night and definitely in the fall and winter you can get away with this fragrance it's super unique again there is that dna in there of dolce and gabbana the one which you know is the truth if you don't have that you definitely need to get that before you even get this okay for close encounters but this right here is going to be an excellent addition to your collection. Uh, it's a little elusive sometimes on uh, discounters. It pops up, I feel like, every 30 to 45 days, so you got to look for it. But it's absolutely worth the money. Again, Dolce & Gabbana, the one, Luminous Night. I mentioned this one earlier in the year in another video. Got it completely wrong with this. Just when I think I know what I'm talking about, you know, you get punched in the face and recognize that I don't know what I'm talking about, okay? You got to let the people decide. Valentino Womo, right? Born in Roma. Mineral notes, okay? Violet leaf, ginger, sage, woody notes, vetiver. All right. This right here, I feel like is highly underrated. Uh, I underrated it when I first got it. Um, I actually have three others in the Womo line, all uh, before this one, uh, the original Womo, uh, Womo Aqua, which I think is discontinued, and Womo Intense, and this is the one that gives me the most compliments. If I was a betting man, I would have lost all my money. This is a great fragrance. It's mass appealing, but I would not have thought that this garners the type of compliments from women that it does. I'm starting to believe, because there's another fragrance I have in my collection, the note might be Violet Leaf. It might be something there, uh, because another one of these other fragrances that's unique that has a Violet Leaf uh, uh, note in it gets a lot of compliments, and that's what's kind of prominent. I'm like, maybe that's it. Maybe it's... So I might need to just be looking for fragrances that got that Violet, uh, note, or Violet Leaf <laughs> note incorporated with it, but... As far as the actual fragrance, um, this one actually is going to give you a solid five to six hours of projection. Uh, you will smell this on your clothes the next day. Um, again, it is mass appealing. I feel like this one right here too, true be told, I feel like this one can be worn all year round. Um, literally, I, 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 I almost would say you could wear this one in the summer too. Uh, I don't know if I would push it that way, but... Any other time of the year with this one right here, because it is so fresh, I feel like you could wear this one year round, okay? Highly underrated if you have not smelled Valentino Womo, born in Roma, and I know they have an intense, which I haven't smelled yet, but this one right here does it. And remember, I have the other three in the collection, and none of them get the compliments that this one does. If it wasn't for the projection and the longevity, this might have been a 10 out of 10 for me. Tom Ford Noir Extreme. Okay, cardamom, nutmeg, orange, rose, jasmine, vanilla, sandalwood, and amber. The combination of the, the citrus and spices in here, I'm telling you, this was almost a 10 out of 10 to me. This is definitely backup bottle worthy. I don't even know if I could do 10 for life, but if I could do 15 for life, this would be in it, okay? 
and the women love this fragrance all right uh this is one you're going to have to overspray though okay you're only about to get a hour and a half two hours of projection around you your little you know scent bubble that you're gonna have but you can overspray it i get it. it's got a little bit of a price tag associated with it and i and i do understand it but to me personally the juice is worth it um i would not say that this is uh blind buy worthy i feel like you should get a sample of this but i feel like you will not be disappointed with tom ford uh noir extreme percy i feel like this is year round but i do feel like this is nighttime, okay? This is, you know, going out. This is dinner. This could be done formal. Um, but, yeah, you can do this one year-round. And, again, because it's the projection really isn't there, you can actually overspray this one, okay? So go a little bit heavy on the trigger with this one, okay? Because the females that are around you are going to respect it. All right, all right, all right, that's it. So we made it through another one. Thank you for tuning in to the channel. If you got any benefit from any of the content today, please do consider liking and subscribing. And y'all let me know, what did you think about this list today? What's been your experience with some of those fragrances? And if you haven't tried them, if you do try them, come back and let me know. I want to hear from y'all. Until next time.